yes, we are back again with Entrepreneurship Tuesday, and this is our last segment of the day. And this is a special young gentleman trained in a uh, bachelor's of education, physics, and mathematics, taught for a while, uh, left uh, employment just to start his own business in the Juakali sector, and now is an innovator and is, has a prototype in studio that is going to surprise some of you guys. Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook is the way to interact with us. If you are an enthusiast of engineering or manufacturing, one of the uh, pillars of the Big Four agenda, this particular one is for you, Samuel Muredi in the building. Thank you very much. Sir. Karibu sana. Asante. Uh, your camera is number four. Kama kuna PhD, ukuna yona sija sema maali. You can introduce yourself. I don't have a permanent head damage. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so your camera is number four. You can just introduce yourself and just say everything that I left out first. Okay. My name is Sammy Njagi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a teacher by profession. Mm -hmm. 729007 is my TSE number. Uh -huh. My physics combo is what I'm supposed to teach, but I'm not teaching as of now. You're not teaching as of now. Would you like to get back to teaching sometime soon? Yeah. I'd love to. You'd on love to. On permanent basis. On permanent basis. Stack him on BM because it's stressful to some extent. It's stressful to some extent. Uh -huh. On permanent basis, and you'd like to impart some knowledge into kids. You'd like to train kids uh -huh. and give them a better future. You have mm. something special in studio with us, Ria. Uh -huh. uh, this is a prototype you worked on. Uh, for how long did you work on this particular prototype? Uh, basically, this was supposed to be a, a, a science project that I had way back in 2000. 2017 mm -hmm. but unfortunately the job just went off and I uh, was supposed to maybe present at the science fair but I didn't mm -hmm. uh, but I went ahead and just decided to you know to actualize it for myself mm -hmm. then I, I took just a, like a, more like a like a month or just basically a yeah a couple of weeks it took you a couple of weeks to yeah. come up with this yeah all right uh, before you get to what was your intention when you were building this particular thing? If we can showcase this prototype, uh, don't, don't demonstrate first. Uh, we can just show it to the people. Uh, uh, this is an excavator prototype. Mm -hmm. Right here. OK. So uh, yeah, we have uh, four controls right there. There's three, actually. Mm -hmm. Or basically four, you might want to say four. Uh -huh. But um, these are just, a f you see the first cavity to function. Uh -huh. There's what is called the swing. That is the swing. left uh -huh. and the right swing. Uh -huh. And that is called the, uh, the booming down uh -huh. and the booming up. Uh -huh. And there's the shortening of the arm uh -huh. and the lengthening of the arm. Uh -huh. And it's the opening of the bucket uh -huh. and the closing of the bucket. Uh -huh. And it's, it's just how basically uh, and, and then the rotation. Works. And that is called the swing. That's the rotation that you refer uh -huh. to as rotation is what is called the swing. Uh -huh. And then the basic operation, for example, if you have some soil or you just need to big, make some deep excavation, you uh -huh. just need to lower the, uh, the boom. Uh -huh. Or you just have to boom down like this uh -huh. and scoop whatever you're scooping there. Then you uh -huh. All right. boom there. So uh -huh. we have uh, the boom, the yeah. arm. This is called the boom. Uh -huh. And this is the arm. Mm -hmm. and, and this, this is, is the, bucket. the bucket. Yeah. That is where the, the soil is. All right, I see a demo here <laughs> of where you have your driver or the operator. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, the, the engine is somewhere here. Uh, the so is traditionally, what you have here is always somewhere here. Yeah, it's always behind here. All right, and uh, then the controls are here. Yeah, the controls are here. Uh -huh. For uh, for a digitalized excavator, that is a modern excavator. Mm. You're going to have uh, the, uh, the the DCVU or the basically the joysticks, mm. which controls the opening and closing of the bucket, basically the functioning of the excavator. Mm -hmm. And on the back right here, you're going to have something that is called the uh, the counterweight because mm -hmm. it's going to be used in deep excavation and carrying some heavy material. So you need some. Some, some, uh, counterweight. some counterweight or to bring the center of gravity yeah, somewhere here yeah. to bring the center of gravity is just uh, yeah mm -hmm. in between here and right here you're going to have something like uh, you're going to have the engine mm -hmm. and the, the hydraulic yeah, pump mm -hmm. uh, basically the spool that's what they call it so all right it's basically an excavator so where did you get your dimensions from because i bet uh, this this uh, needs to be done in precision yeah yeah, I, you have to use some ingenuity and some little bit of thinking. Mm -hmm. I went to, uh, to the internet mm -hmm. 
and just googled a couple of materials like I went to and I got this PDF materials mm -hmm. from the caterpillar and uh, this Komatsu. Mm -hmm. So Komatsu is Japan, Japanese. It's Japanese made. Uh -huh. uh, Caterpillar is just US made. Uh, Caterpillar is American. Uh -huh. Do you have any other brands so far? Yeah, we got some Doosan from uh, South Korea. Mm -hmm. I've seen Duma somewhere. Doosan. It's Doosan. Doosan. I've seen Doosan. something like Duma along Mombasa Road. I don't know. There are varieties. I mean, like there's Komatsu, there's Doosan, mm -hmm. there is uh, there's No Realm, mm -hmm. there's Saini. Mm -hmm. The one that is the green mama that is used to. The demolish build is just a couple of days ago. All right. Along the road. Along the road. So that was a brand used along the road. All right. So uh, the next brand is going to be yours. Yeah. That is the reason you built the prototype. Uh huh. You want to convert this to the actual machine. Yeah. I want to do that. It's because it's easy. All right. Because it's easy. You think it's easy? It's very much easy. But I think mm -hmm. I'm convinced that it's easy. You want to build your own excavator uh -huh. and other machines that work similar to an ex uh -huh. excavator. Mm -hmm. All right, critics will say this is impossible. We don't have the raw materials for this. What do you mean raw materials? Mm -hmm. There's nothing such as we don't have raw materials. Mm -hmm. We need to ask ourselves where did the U.S. people mm -hmm. get those raw materials from? We mm -hmm. need to ask ourselves where do we are the Japanese people got those their raw materials or maybe the South Koreans. Mm -hmm. It's just basically basically metal mm -hmm. and some you know rubber pipes, mm -hmm. high pressure pipes. Mm -hmm. So all we need to get one. Alright. So if you are asked uh, what is the basic what is the fundamental concept that this machine works uh, on? Uh, basically, it's using the uh, the basic principle is just a form one physics. Mm -hmm. Pressure in liquids. Just Pressure uh, in liquids. Yeah, is it called the Pascal's principle? <laughs> uh, I can't recall the principle, but mm -hmm. yeah, the Pascal principle. But it's just basically the the uh, the, the pressure in liquid phys. I mean, pressure in liquids principle. That is one is that is being used today. Mm -hmm. In the sense that, for example, if you look at this syringe on my right hand side, mm -hmm. this is responsible. It's connected directly. Mm -hmm. Using this uh, pipe. adhesive pipe uh -huh. to uh, this range over here, such that now uh -huh. when you fill those uh, one syringe with H2O, that's water, uh -huh. and the other one is going to remain empty, you see that's going to happen, it's going to shorten the arm. Uh -huh. And when you pull back like this, uh -huh. it's going to uh, create some partial vacuum over here, and uh -huh. it's going to push uh, the atmospheric pressure, is going to push the, uh, the syringe on the, the other side uh -huh. to backwards. control. All right. So you have three levers on this side. Uh, they, uh, I have One, two, three. This the, the syringe is uh, the, the 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 technical term for this is mm -hmm. called the. Uh, this is the 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 arm cylinder. Mm -hmm. This is the bucket cylinder. This is the boom cylinder. Mm -hmm. They called cylinders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So the cylinders uh, control some. They are basically like the muscles. Mm -hmm. It's All like you thing. have this arm. Uh -huh. You got this bicep right here, mm -hmm. which is responsible for. You know, lifting your arm. Lifting my arm up and oh. down. I love the right. tricep for the So the machine basically works on the concept of pressure. Yeah. And do you, what all you're saying is there's no way we can't apply pressure, the concept, the basic principles of pressure mm -hmm. to build machines locally in Kenya. Yeah, we need to. We, need, we as Kenyans, we need to come out of that thing of basically importing each and everything. Mm -hmm. You look at now, we have Toyotas, we got Isuzu's. I'm mm -hmm. not saying we're not supposed, it's bad to have Isuzu, but mm -hmm. we need to have our own manufacturing industries where we have to run our own machineries if we have to realize the goal 2030, mm -hmm. which is so close. Matter of fact, it is uh, around the, um, 11 years. 11 years or away less. From us. Uh -huh. And we don't even have a single, single manufacturing industry that produces cars, mm -hmm. not even motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Everything is Chinese or basically Japanese. Uh -huh. So we need to come out of that stuff where we need to buy everything. But uh -huh. we need to come up with our own stuff. Uh -huh. Let's start by building our own machines. Uh -huh. Then you go to realize the goal of yeah. You're so there's no way we are going to achieve this vision no, we can. thing we just can. if I'll we don't manufacture like our own cars. I like to echo what... Um, Koigi Wamura once said, uh -huh. we cannot realize 2030 if we don't have our own, if you keep on buying everything. Uh -huh. Just like your family. Uh -huh. You just cannot be rich when you're basically buying everything, including your own food. Uh -huh. You start producing your own food, you uh -huh. make your own clothes, uh -huh. you become rich. But That's if how you, you keep become on rich. Buying, yeah, you if you're a producer, yeah. if you're a consumer, you'll never yeah, be the rich. The problem is, uh -huh. we, whatever we produce, uh -huh. we don't consume. Uh -huh. And we consume what we don't produce. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is the problem with Kenya. I in a the is that with us Kenyans. Uh, uh, in a nutshell. All right, so uh, to achieve this, um, it takes a lot to get a prototype to to a factory somewhere mm -hmm. and just convert it to something we can use uh, in excavation projects mm -hmm. uh, safely. Number one, safety is always the the most important the thing when it uh, when, when it comes to engineering. Safety. Uh, so safety first. So uh, I'm guessing for you to produce this, you need some material scientists with you. You need some chemists with you, uh, so that you guys can achieve this. That, I, that's what you think. Uh -huh. I myself, I'm not an engineer, but I came up with this stuff. Mm -hmm. I never went. I don't have a PhD in engineering mm -hmm. so to come up with this. Mm -hmm. I don't. Even, I was not even this. I wasn't even in an engineering class mm -hmm. back in my campus days, mm -hmm. but I came up with this. And I need to ask you one question. Mm -hmm. Whoever came up with the first excavator, mm -hmm. which university did they attend to come up with that? Mm -hmm. If you answer that, then you have, a, the, you have all your questions answered. Mm -hmm. We don't need that kind of uh, thinking that oh, it's people, you know, oh, you need to invest a lot of money. Oh, you need to, it's just mm -hmm. maybe just what, just some few things right over here mm -hmm. and some things over there. You go have something that is our own. All right. Something expensive of our own. So you're a strong believer of apprenticeship or yep. apprentice training? Yeah. Wow. Don't you think it, we run risks if we go this direction? No, if you don't risk, we are just, if, if, you, if you want to continue playing safe, uh -huh. that means you're going not to realize that <laughs> Even in risk. business, you need to take yeah, risks. Yeah, you need to take risks. And this uh -huh. is a calculated risk. Uh -huh. For example, if I, build, if I was to build my own escalator, I don't think it's going to cost me more than a... Mm -hmm. Five million Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. It's way. And now people are buying them for up to thirty million yeah, 30 Kenya shillings. Kenya shillings. We are talking this about money is going to America. This money is going to Japan. This money is going, going to America. To the UK. Going to Japan. Uh -huh. And they come to us telling us that we are going to give you grants and mm -hmm. just basically our own money uh -huh. which they are giving us. You are painting a scenario for me. So say uh, we bought a uh, thousand Toyotas in a year as a country uh -huh. uh, at a million Kenya shillings uh -huh. each. Uh, that is a billion shillings. You do the maths, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's a billion shillings sent to Japan. Uh huh. What if we constructed our own? We've constructed. If we con, if we construct our own. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. I don't think a Toyota machine. I mean, like a, a saloon car is supposed to be like all that expensive. Mm -hmm. It's just a few pistons right here, and we can, you know, we can build them. Uh -huh. I've seen people doing some something that's called reboring. Uh -huh. And that's basically you just fill up the engine and then rebore it again. Uh -huh. You come up with a, a brand new, some sort of it's a generic engine. Mm -hmm. But if we Kenyans, we are so much used to buying everything. Uh -huh. That's where we get, we go wrong. We need, uh -huh. uh, we, I'm just saying this from a very uh, deliberate, I mean, like from a very uh, light perspective. And I'm saying that we need a dictator who's uh -huh. going to come and say, we are not going to do more important, we are not going to import anything. Uh -huh. We need to impose we some need rules. To build our own stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I'm. I mean, that's all I believe in. Do you think we have the capacity so far to build our own stuff? No, from let, you, let me you just ask you. Uh -huh. You want uh -huh. University of Nairobi? It's just a couple of blocks away. Uh -huh. How many engineers do we produce? Uh, hundreds every year. Hundreds and every year. Uh -huh. Now I'm asking this one thing: How many of those engineers have come up with something that is can be used? I mean, can solve certain problems in Kenya today? All right. <coughs> Insignificantly. Uh, significantly. But we got the potential. I mean, all, all I'm right, saying is we, we got the potential. If we include the computer engineers... We um, got the computer engineers who can do the, uh, the, the, the computer yes, design. If we include the computer engineers, I can say quite a number have come up with solutions, IT solutions. Yeah, uh, that's on one perspective mm, altogether. But mm, the mechanical part of it. Uh -huh, I mean, for example, the Tika Super High was uh -huh, built by Chinese. Uh -huh. Why do we have Chinese building our own roads and we have civil engineers in Kenya produced in their hundreds? Right. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe it's because they gave the government a better price. Oh, come on. The, <laughs> the government is playing the last one. Anyway, why do I watch that on Twitter? Why do Five four underscore channel on Instagram and white five four on Facebook is the way to interact with us. Don't forget the hashtag why uh, why in the morning and don't forget the hashtag entrepreneurship Tuesday. We have the main man himself, Sammy here, is uh is an is an engineer, he's a street engineer, but trained teacher in physics and mathematics, and he's applying this to the fullest. All right, so if say uh who now? If uh somebody was to ask you, let me not give a name. Mm -hmm. Uh what do you need to convert this to something we can apply? Even small excavators. Let's start small with small excavators that we can use in uh, in gardens. 
No, what we need is just uh, somebody who can believe in us, who uh -huh. can believe in me. What do you need yourself? I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need some capital. It's going to come first, but uh -huh. I need somebody who can believe in it. Uh -huh. We got trillions of money in Kenya, but I need somebody who's that person is going to risk, uh -huh. and we're going to come up with something that is going to work. As Moise Kavira, just our own. Mm -hmm. which is going, to, is going to be a baby step towards the bigger steps, mm -hmm. towards the goals that we need to get as right. skin in general. So you have a dream that one day we won't be importing uh, cars from outside. Yeah. We won't be importing excavators from outside. Yeah. And these are billions of shillings that we sent to other countries. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you have a dream that we won't be importing motorcycles. Motorcycles. We, don't we won't be importing bicycles. Uh -huh. You have a dream that this is going to happen. Yeah, we have a dream. But is it going to happen in the next 10 years? Do I, you think I we are going to... I can't promise you that. We <laughs> need to change the... First of all, we need to change the education system, uh -huh. which supports that we came from monkeys, which is, to me, that's blasphemy against God. Uh -huh. All right? You can't... You <laughs> see, the, uh, if I... If I, if I think I'm a Kenyan and I'm a patriot of Kenya, uh -huh. and I'm... Um, I, the, the, this is the Kenyan anthem. We like... Uh, we sing, oh, God of all creation. That's uh -huh. the first line. Uh -huh. We can't say, oh, God of all creation, and we get back to school. <laughs> we're like, we came for monkeys. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I think that's just a theory, because when you go to school... It's not a theory. Mm -hmm. It's not a theory. Mm -hmm. It's just not a theory. For, because what am I saying is, mm -hmm. if you change the mindset, if you start believing that we agree to get God's image mm -hmm. and God's likeness, we're going to come up with stuff that even we, we are going to be like, whoa, we never thought this going to happen, but it just happened. All right, so... Uh you don't believe in evolution. I don't number believe one. in evolution. All right. If this machine didn't evolve, <laughs> so, so am I. I didn't evolve. <laughs> so you don't Your believe in evolution. Your didn't evolve. Right. You <laughs> don't believe in evo evolution, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. But uh, what aspects of this education system do you think that can be changed uh, to support manufacturing yes. as an aspect of the Big Four agenda? But that's my fear, and that's what I'm trying to be in mm -hmm. an education. I'm in a curriculum in implementer. Mm -hmm. And I, no, that's what I think. We should, we should have changed the curriculum way long before. We've majored so much in, you know, we want to speak that impeccable English. Mm -hmm. I've seen Chinese who speak broken, totally broken English. Mm -hmm. They build the best roads. Mm -hmm. They be, got the best buildings, even here in UN. Mm -hmm. The tallest building was built by a Chinese. So I don't like, I don't, I don't think you speaking the best English or, you know, having a kid, son and one kid who can talk, you can speak a very nice English. Mm -hmm. It'd be like, you know, speaking that nice English, but you can't build your own toys. I don't think that's the way to go. <laughs> I don't think that's the way to go. You can have all the A's in a dead pieces of papers. Uh -huh. You can have all the B's in a dead pieces of paper. Uh -huh. But that does not mean that you're all bright. All right. But self-expression is a very important aspect of life, <laughs> if you ask me. Expressing yourself, being understood. And we have careers that are built on self expression, mm -hmm. like law is one of them, mm -hmm. PR is one of them, psychology is another one of mm -hmm. them, uh, media is another one of them. You want us to do away with all these? No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying we want to do away with them. Uh -huh. We still need them. I need a lawyer to come and patent my stuff. Uh -huh. We all need them. We uh -huh. all need uh, you know, people who are going to teach us how to mm -hmm. speak, those white people. Uh -huh. I mean, okay, <laughs> they're necessary. Right. I mean, education is necessary to some extent. Okay, mm -hmm. in, a, in a broader sense, mm -hmm. but we need to adjust some few. Really, I mean, some, some few stuff. We need For to example, adjust something. Mm -hmm. We both agree on that. Uh, but I'd like to go back to your project right here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, you can take us through it again. Three controls or four controls. One is the rotor. Uh, three controlling the pistons. Uh, and this, you say, is just a prototype. You want yeah. to actualize this. And build actual ex excavators made in Kenya. Yeah, that's to that's solve my goal. Kenyan problems. Yeah, we need to solve this Kenyan problem. We, uh -huh. we just import a lot of stuff. Even some of these things we don't need to import. It's just important. I just want to say that we don't even have to import a, uh, an excavator. We just need to build our own. It's uh -huh. So simple. That is the only way we are going to achieve yeah, this vision 2030 thing. Vision 2030 is just going to achieve it if we adjust and we change our mindset. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, so apart from building prototypes of things you'd like to actualize in future, uh, what else do you do on the side? On the other side, uh, um, th th uh, I also assemble sad music systems. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I've gone to the supermarket and I found this uh, home theater system. I'm not going to say the brand mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. And it's 100,000 Kenyan shillings, and I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. that's too much, man. Then I went on the other side and the Juakali stuff. Mm -hmm. We assembled these are uh, my 
like uh, you know i was you know i believe let me just I, it's something i didn't mention i believe in a um, reverse engineering mm -hmm. you look at a thing then you come up with the generic of the thing it's not the actual one mm -hmm. but you just come up with your own that looks like the uh, mm -hmm. the original mm -hmm. So that's called reverse engineering. Mm -hmm. So I went to the supermarket and I found this home theater system is too expensive. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa, that's too much, man. Then I, I assembled, I assembled mine. No. That only cost for only 20,000 Kenyan shillings. So you bought the raw materials for 20,000? No, not the materials for 20,000. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the price because that's what I do. And that's All the, right. the So you won't tell me how much you got the raw materials for. Uh, but I just the, don't want to. That's a, that's a top CIA secret. I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> so the, 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 the home theaters that you assemble cost 20,000. Uh -huh. the, the, power, the power is the same. Yeah, I use a 12-inch subwoofer mm -hmm. with a nice cabinet, which is going to produce a big booming sound, more powerful than any home theater system that you're going to find in a supermarket or any shopping mall you go get. Mm -hmm. But mine is... Is expensive, man is powerful, mm -hmm. and I always say this if I you go buy that machine for me, and I'm saying this in front of this camera, if you're going to buy that machine from me, mm -hmm. you can be assured that if it's going to be a little bit less powerful than the home theater system that you're going to find in the supermarket, mm -hmm. I'm going to give mine for free. All right, I'm going to give All right so there are free. different aspects to when, when to, to sound to a sound system, yeah. Mm -hmm. Power is just one of them. We have the surround sound. Yeah. We have the the special effects. We have the 3D sound aspect yeah. of uh, of it. Uh, so maybe the extra eighty thousand is for these things. Yeah, well, <laughs> man, it's nothing, man. It's just sound. It's just sound. If you you see the the machine operates on a very basic principle, mm -hmm. maybe like uh, garbage in, garbage out. You put in a weak signal, you expect the machine to respond in a weak manner mm -hmm. but you put a if nice you put clear, in, yeah you get garbage out. yeah if you uh, if you put some if you inject some nice signals mm -hmm. with all the surrounds with all the, uh, the, the mm -hmm. left and right balanced you all the uh the, the base mm -hmm. you're going to get a very very powerful and nice sound on the other end all right so if i plug my fake phone to your yeah, subwoofer the, with yeah. my <laughs> one mb <laughs> yeah one mb <laughs> one mb music FAV, file. yeah, yeah, that's uh -huh. what, yeah. Is so I'm going to get a bad sound. Yeah, you're going to get a That is a basic it's obvious. thing. It's All right, so you assemble music sound systems. Uh -huh. You are creating prototypes of things you'd like to build in future, mm -hmm. but sound systems are things you're already creating as yeah, of that's, now. That's what I've been... That's, that, that's what actually, that's what puts food on my table. All right. Yeah. All right, so, uh, huh. so if we're going to achieve this manufacturing thing, mm -hmm. uh, we, we'll still have to import. Do you agree? This we still have I to don't import disagree. some raw materials. To, yeah, we need to import. Uh -huh. For example, for those machines, like for the cutting machine, like the lasers, mm -hmm. maybe we might import them. Mm -hmm. But to learn to build them with I, Or maybe, or somebody somewhere from UON mm -hmm. or any other kid in university come up with a, a laser gun that is going to cut through the metal. Mm -hmm. Just like the knife cuts through the powder, mm -hmm. the better. If we have to. But for me, if, to start up, we need some smooth transition because mm -hmm. you just cannot wake up one day and you say that no, we're not gonna, gonna import everything. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna import nothing. Uh, we have we to need some smooth, smooth transition. Uh -huh. For example, we start up by, by 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 coming up with a with a brand new motorcycle, kin and then it's Kenyan made. Uh -huh. That's that's what I'm saying. Then from there we shift to maybe come up with a small car. Uh -huh. I, I I've always been inspired by guys like the Honda. Uh -huh. Or they call it Honda. It's Honda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the guy who was, but it's, the, that guy who invented Honda mm -hmm. was just like, you know, he dropped out of college himself. Mm -hmm. And he started to build his own stuff. Mm -hmm. He was lucky. He was doing elec electric was just like me, sound systems mm -hmm. just like me. Mm -hmm. But he went to build his own machine because he was inspired by what was already in existence. Mm -hmm. So he came up with his own machine. Mm -hmm. Has we the have the likes of the Lamborghinis and... Lamborghini was a farmer. Uh -huh. He fucked from Italy. It's uh -huh. called hey, Lamborghini Ferruccio. Uh, Lamborghini. Lamborghini Ferruccio. Uh -huh. And these guys were just trying to solve problems yeah. in their farms. After the World War uh -huh. II, the, the, the countries were torn apart. Uh -huh. And then like, they need to put it together. And they were the basically wheat farmers in their countries. Mm -hmm. So they built machines from there. They, they destroyed tanks. Mm -hmm. So your message is if Italy did it, mm -hmm. if France did it, uh -huh. if UK did it, mm -hmm. if America did it, mm -hmm. after all these European countries, as yeah. a matter of fact, if Egypt industrialized before everyone else, Maybe it's it possible it. here. Education started in Egypt. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying there's a problem in Africa. 
that people, whatever you produce, you uh -huh. don't consume. We can education, go on and on. <laughs> no, let's no, just finish this. Uh -huh. I mean, we started education in, in, in Egypt. Then it was exported to somewhere in Greece. Then mm -hmm. Greece exported it to, a, to the to the uh, to the UK. Mm -hmm. Then they brought it back to us in a different form. In a different form, in a you know like uh, you know, you know refined form, mm -hmm. and they are selling it. Or fragmented, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm that we need to change stuff. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so we can go on and on and on. There's a lot to complain about, mm -hmm. but the solution you say you have the solution. We can I, go on and on in complaining, but you it. say you have the solution. Yeah. The solution is manufacturing our own stuff mm -hmm. and looking up to the countries that have did it. Mm -hmm. There's no industrialization if we can't make our own stuff. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Once again, uh, how can they find you on Facebook uh, if they'd like to invest in your dream? You can find me on Facebook at Samuel Murili. That is S-A-M-W-E-L M-U-R-I-I-T-H-I mm -hmm. Samuel Murili. Mm -hmm. And Facebook account, that's my Facebook account. Mm -hmm. And my mobile phone number, I just cannot give that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. They can find you on Facebook. That, yeah, they can find that will work Facebook. for you. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in to Why in the Morning. Thank you very much for coming through, Samuel. Yeah, and all the best in your endeavors. Me. And uh, please, I hope you become a curriculum implementer. Yeah. Since you're a teacher, <laughs> and yeah. fix this. Yeah, I can fix everything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we end this uh, particular show today with a demonstration uh, from Samuel uh, from his prototype of an excavator. Something he says he'd like to actualize in future. Tomorrow is my favorite day. Tomorrow is Queen's Wednesday. We'll be here with the rest of the crew or the gang, as you like to say it, gangly. <laughs> uh -huh. So uh, be sure to tune in to Y in the morning. Uh, the repeat is at 2 p.m. Or you can find us on YouTube at Y254 channel. I go by the name of Bai Moses or It's Bai Mokwa Kila Mtendawa Kijumi. Uh, beautiful day. Twenty, twenty kazi, twenty kazi, twenty kazi, twenty kazi. Okay, watch it to chimbe. Tuna bomoa carpet. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-